Hello there, I'm Caitlin. And I'm Bobby. And we're here today to show you how to use a very popular product. You know, some say I'm a very popular product. Yes, well fortunately we're talking about another popular product. It's Bars Leaks Liquid Aluminum Cooling System Radiator and Heater Core Stop Leak. Hard to say, but crazy easy to use. You know, some say I'm easy to use. Don't say it. That's probably a good idea. Let's get to it. Now you may be saying to yourself... Self, there is no way I can do this. I'm no mechanic. Untrue, you so can do it. You don't even need tools. You need to be able to do two things. Open the bottle and open the hood of your car. That's it. Anyone can do it. Unless you have a bottle opening problem. And in that case, ask a friend. First, you need to be able to shake the bottle and open the hood. Safety tip number one. Make sure your engine is cool before you install the product. Safety tip number two. Find your radiator cap. If you can't find it, check your owner's manual. Doesn't matter if you can't find it, it's okay. You can go ahead and install the product in your pressurized reservoir. And before installing, look inside your radiator. There's no flushing or draining of the system required unless the system is dirty. But if it's clean, you're good to go. So pour the proper dosage into the radiator. If you're not sure what that is, check the dosage chart on the bottle. Usually it's a full bottle for six, eight, and 10 cylinder engines. You can use half a bottle for a four cylinder engine. You may also have to add extra coolant just to bring your levels up in case you've been leaking for a while. What a shame if you did. See how easy this was to take care of. So easy. Now all you need to do is put the cap back on and start the car. Let's go start the car. Okay. Just let the vehicle idle for 15 or 20 minutes to let the product work its way into the system. Also, you're going to want to keep your fan on high and your heat on hot. And please, do this in a well-ventilated area. Do not do this in a closed garage, people. Now once we've been idling for 20 minutes or so, we're going to let the engine cool and take the cap back off. You're going to check the level of fluid in your radiator and your overflow tank. If it's at a good level, then you can put the cap back on. And you're ready to get your show back on the road. Just keep an eye on your temperature and check for any additional leaks over the next couple of days. And that's it. You didn't start as a mechanic, but in under three minutes, you just became one. Now, if you have any additional questions, just call our customer service team or hit us up on the web. They're always there to help. Until next time, guys.